It Ends With Us sequel is in doubt. So if you haven't been following this, let's go into this. This is coming to us from Variety. It Ends With Us sequel in doubt. Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni feud. There's probably no world where they work together again. Going down here, we're going to read this. Will we ever know how it ends? After three weeks in theaters, it ends with us. Well, it ends with us. A big screen adaptation of Colleen Hoover's best-selling book has become a box office smash to, to the tune of $242 million worldwide. Ticket sales are projected to reach at least $285 million to $300 million worldwide. In a summer that's been dominated by films catering to kids and teenage boys, it ends with us, is the rare cinematic event that's appealing to the female audience. It's hugely profitable, too. It Ends With Us costs $25 million to produce and, ex and is expected to net at least $25 million to $30 million in profits for both Sony, which distributed the film, and director Justin, yeah, his Wayfarer Studios. Another source familiar with the deal puts the figure at double. Uh, put Oh, so, sorry, put, puts that figure at double. Those margins don't include proceeds for cinemas and box office bonuses for Blake and Baldani. Going down here, a sequel to the novel, it, start, it, it starts with us, already exists. So there would be no need to stretch the source material to exploit a hit, a la Big Little Lies. And the existence of that follow-up story should be a clear sign that moviegoers haven't seen the last of Lily, Ryle, and Atlas the characters portrayed by our lead stars, respectively, in the film. Hollywood players typically capitalize on, on positive box office headlines by fast-tracking the announcement of another installment. But an apparent feud between Lively and Baldani that has spilled onto the public in, into the public eye has left any sequel plans looking precautious. So, this is going to get a little bit messy. This is uncharted territory, and nobody has any idea of what a sequel could look like. A familiar, a, a source familiar with the situation. There's probably no world where they work together again. Ha! Huh, here we go. The lead up to, to to it ends with us was riddled with tabloid fodder about off-screen drama. It started with rumors about hostility between Baldani and the rest of the cast after he was not photographed with them at the August 6th New York premiere. Nor did Baldani introduce the film alongside Lively and Hoover. Internet sleuths also discovered that none of his fellow actors follow Baldani on Instagram other than Hassan, who plays the brother-in-law of Baldani's character. There's been speculation that Lively and Baldani clashed over the final cut of the film, of, of the movie, which Lively's preferred version as the one that reportedly made it to the big screen. Some of the, some screenwriters have said it was odd that Lively admitted during a red carpet interview that her husband, Ryan Reynolds, wrote a key scene in the... That her husband... Ryan, wow, it's not letting me read that. Ryan Reynolds wrote a key scene in the final cut of the film. Sources that came... Sources say that came as news to Baldani, who thought the scene had been ad-libbed by Lively. The WGA did not respond to a request for comment about whether Reynolds' work is a guild violation that could spark a credits issue. Though movies can have uncredited writers, rarely would the director be unaware of it. Reynolds' involvement raises a second WGA issue. The film began production on May 5th, 2005. 23, three days after the start of last summer's WGA strike. Reynolds, who received a screenwriter credit on Deadpool 2 and Deadpool Wolverine, is a WGA member and would have been barred from contributing to the screenplay from May 2nd to September 27th, 2023. Writers picketed the New York, uh, the, uh, the New Jersey set and production was paused in late 2023 before, uh, in late June 2023, before the sag after strike commenced on July 14th, a source, a source close to Reynolds says he took a pass on the film's rooftop scene in April 2023. Neither 
Baldani and, or Lively have addressed the chatter publicly, but multiple sources confirm to Variety that the bad blood between the two is very real and the relationship may be may, may not be salvageable. Yet none of those sources could articulate any legitimacy tra transgressions from either party. The rift is complicated by the fact that, that Baldani's Wayfair Studios holds the cinematic rights to both It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us after acquiring them in 2019 from Hoover. The author told Variety that she rejected several offers before agreeing to team with Baldani on the big screen adaptation. I felt like he understood the book and he understood the importance of what of, of what people need to see on screen, Hoover said. So, while this is something, we've had multiple different versions of this. We've had multiple different cast members go, hey, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. We've had uh, we've had a Sarah Jessica Parker and a Kim Cattrall. We also saw Olivia Wilde and Florence Pugh do that. So I went on a little bit agnosium about this, but I thought it needed to be said. I thought it needed to be said that this movie is having a little bit of a don't worry, darling type of a moment. Because while Don't don't Worry Darling wasn't a box office smash, it, it, it was certainly a very good movie. I, I like that movie a lot, actually. I like Don't Worry Darling. No movie set should be like this. No movie production should be like this. A director should be respectful of his castmates. Let alone starring in the film. You're acting and starring. Be a team leader. Because then no one's going to want to work with you again. With Blake Lively, she's one of the biggest names. Also, let alone, but not importantly, married to one of the biggest guys in Hollywood. What does this say about the WGA issues? We'll find out down the line. But the It Ends With Us sequel is in doubt. Are you disheartened by that? Do you think they will get the sequel made? Do you think there's any way that they could get this settled? But... Have you seen It Ends With Us? Are you excited for the potential sequel if they get this all straightened out? I'll be maybe seeing it tomorrow after work at 4 o'clock, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts.